Hello there, and welcome back to another Stardew Valley video, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you my absolute favorite mod in the game, the CJB Cheats mod, and everything you can do with it. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. The hotkey for this mod is the P key, so if we hit that, we'll see all these tabs on the left. I'll get into all of these later, but first off, let's just start with the player and tools. I'll point out the most noteworthy ones in my opinion because if I said them all I would be talking here for a long time. So some of my favorites are the infinite health and stamina, I always keep these on, it's just super useful. And you can't die. And also max daily luck, that one's a fun one too, just so you can go fishing, catch good quality fish and stuff. Uh, you can make your tools way better and of course, probably the best part of this mod is just adding a ton of money. If I just click this, look at the top part of the screen. I'm now even richer than I was before. In the farming and fishing tab, it's pretty much just all the things that improve the quality of life. So you can automatically water your crops without even using sprinklers. You'll never have to repair your fences. Any builds that you request from Robin will be done instantly. You don't have to feed your animals, and you won't have to worry about getting the hay to feed the animals. And as you can see, there's a ton of fishing things that just either speed up the process or make it easier for you. The skills tab is pretty self-explanatory, you can just increase your player level in all the specific categories there are, and you can also use this to choose multiple professions, so instead of being able to only choose fighter or scout, I can have them both on. And as you can see, I have every single one on, because why not? Even more self-explanatory than the skills tab, the weather one, I can just select which weather I want tomorrow. Even though it's fall, I can make it snow. The relationships tab is also one of my favorites, it was super helpful for me during my heart event series so I didn't have to actually give them gifts to increase their heart level, I could just go click on a heart level and they're at that level. As you can see I have most of them on uh, max heart levels except for Pam, for good reason though, I kinda bully her, not gonna lie. Warp locations, again super self explanatory, I can click on any of these spots, let's say I wanna go to the wizard tower, and I'm at the wizard tower. The time tab is pretty much a necessity for me for video making, just so I don't have to go through multiple days trying to film my videos. This freeze time everywhere is super helpful, and I can also just set it to any time I want, so I can trigger specific card events or go to specific events at any time I want. The advanced tab is pretty much anything else you could ask for in the game, so you can complete quests instantly without actually having to gather or give people things. You can add things to your wallet. You can unlock rooms, so you don't need to be a specific heart level to enter their rooms. You can unlock dyes and tailoring, and you can just instantly complete some of the community center uh, quests. The controls tab is just what you use to set the keybinds for this mod. Two things I'd like to point out for this is the grow tree and grow crops. I'll show you what they do on my farm. I just planted a singular ancient seed here. If I press the grow crops button, it's already completely done. That's all for the cheats mod, but I'm going to show you one more thing that goes really well with it, called the CJB item spawner. If I just hit I here, I have access to every single item in the game, so let's just say I want one of these candy canes for decoration on my farm, add it to my inventory, and voila, it's done. I'll leave the links to download these mods in the description. If you want me to make a video on how to install mods, because there is some complicated parts to it, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Stardew Valley content. Bye!